Two of the Ashley Schwarz versus the state of Texas case. During today's trial, both the lead detective on the case as well as the medical examiner took to the stand to testify in front of the jury. CBS 7's Tyler Poglich is at the Etcher County Courthouse and joins us with more. Tyler, can you tell us what happened today? Yeah, Jay and Mary Kay, today emotions filled the room as new evidence has come into play in the Ashley Swords versus the state of Texas. OPD Sergeant Sam Chavez, the lead detective on the case, testified that the 29th was a hot day. He got to the Schwartz home two hours after a 911 call was made about Jalen's well-being. Sergeant Chavez interviewed both Ashley and Daniel Schwartz on the day of Jalen's death and testified about those interviews. Chavez's body cam footage was presented showing his initial questioning. The first thing Daniel Schwartz said was, quote, are we criminals? Chavez told him police come out whenever a situation involves a young child. After a few minutes of questions, Sergeant Chavez brought Ashley Schwartz into their home because of the extreme heat that day. During Chavez's questioning, Ashley explained that their day started like any ordinary Saturday with having breakfast and the kids playing outside. Ashley said Jalen didn't want any breakfast. Ashley said that the younger sister would end up coming inside for water, but Jalen wanted to stay outside and still play on the trampoline as well as with their dogs. Prosecutors showed the jury pictures of the house and told the jury that water was offered to Jalen, but in the pictures, there was no evidence of any water bottles on their property other than the hose in the backyard. One Sergeant Chavez returned to the front yard with Daniel and Ashley in the body cam footage, showed two fountain drink cups with a water bottle in the shade. The defense asked Sergeant Chavez about his work with the children in these situations. On the day of Jalen's death, her sister was taken to Harmony Homes, which is a place to make kids feel comfortable with being asked questions about situations that are uncomfortable. After the interview with Schwarz, the sisters said they were punished by Ashley and Daniel and told to go outside in the heat with no food or water. We'll continue to keep this or keep you updated on this case throughout the duration of it. We'll also keep you updated on our website for CBS 7 First Alert News reporting at the Ector County Courthouse. I'm Tyler Poglich.